Hi guys, my name is Pete and this is Trading Kitchen. Welcome to this new video. In my last video, I spoke about uh, the Wolfway pattern, which is, in my opinion, one of the most profitable patterns that you can find in uh, in trading because uh, it exploited the, the manipulation uh, by the, the the institutions. Okay, so. Uh, uh, today I just want to add one more thing uh, uh, to this uh, to this pattern. We uh, um, we we're going to speak about a particular kind of candlestick pattern that I called eat the tail pattern. And um, if you use in confluence with the support on the man zones or even better. Uh, with the manipulation pattern, your trading, your profit will drastically increase. Okay, uh, first of all, I just want to uh, invite you to join my disc group in which I will share every day uh, my trading ideas and some educational content like this. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, press the thumbs up button and comment let me know what you think about this video and uh, if you uh, if you want more thing uh, follow me on instagram uh, in which i share some uh, interesting quick tips that can help you to in your trading and obviously i have my uh, uh, trading view page in which uh, sometimes I share some uh, uh, trading ideas for a long-term perspective. Okay, uh, so <clears throat> by the way, I uh, just want to show you my trading journal that I uh, I update uh, of in, 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 in every trade. Okay, so I just opened this trade uh, uh, today and that I, I share on this group and now I will tell you why. Um, so basically, today we had uh, uh, this candlestick pattern, uh, and uh, we're going to complete probably uh, the liquidity pattern strategy, which is this one. So these are my three strategies that I use. Okay. Um, today, uh, if you watch my my previous video and this video together. Um, I I speak about this the strategy LP uh, as liquidity pattern. Okay, so let's go. Let's jump in trading view. Well, basically the first thing I draw this for you guys and uh, so basically this is the pattern okay it's something quite similar to engulfing basically it's an engulfing but it's it, it is a particular kind of a engulfing because uh, um, when you see so we have two candles if you see the tail of the second candle that completely eats the previous candle body okay no matter yeah this will be better like this okay but the first rule that you have to see is this one so the the second tail the second candle tail must eat the previous candle body okay uh, these this kind of setup means a uh, strong movement okay up strong bullish movement vice versa on the other side on for the bearish uh, uh for the bearish pattern same thing okay but red candle here we have uh, green candles and here we have red candles so the second candle tail must eat the previous candles body okay <clears throat> no matter uh, other things, okay. Obviously, if you have this situation, for example, uh, it means that the momentum has already gone, okay.
okay so or, or probably uh you will miss uh, all this all this movement okay because uh the idea of a trade is this one so when you see this kind of pattern you are going to long here on the breakout okay stop loss just a few pips below uh, the low and the risk reward that you want okay same thing for the bearish is this one okay another thing that you can you can do to increase your risk reward ratio but reduce the uh, uh, the numbers of trades okay so basically the win rate if uh, is waiting for the breakout and the retesting okay uh, at least uh, the 50 percent of the previous candle okay like this in this case you obviously are going to reduce win profit but increase risk reward okay so basically this is the the main logic okay the main concept um and uh, it's not difficult to understand because this pattern means it's just like uh liquidity grabbing okay more or less i mean it's just an engulfing but that exploit the momentum okay that's the reason why this kind of pattern is uh, uh so powerful but remember this is just a trigger don't use it alone okay um uh, if you use it alone, you can be useful like many other candlestick pattern. Okay, uh, but in my opinion, it doesn't make any sense use it alone. It's just a trigger, a very high profitable, very powerful trigger. But you must use it in confluence with your analysis. You have to uh, uh, really understand which is the primary trend. Okay, and if the primary trend is bullish you have to looking for this kind of setup okay so basically <clears throat> this is the main the main concept let me show you one example okay so the green box is the asian session the asian session for me is uh is very important because uh, on the asian session highs and lows i usually find very good patterns for for my entries okay so in this case yeah just one thing that i didn't i didn't tell you this kind of pattern you can you can use it in any time frames okay but as a, any candlestick kind of pattern uh, uh the higher the time frame is the more valid this pattern will be obviously okay but i usually use on the five minute time frame because i am trade i'm an intraday trader okay anyway this is an example so here we have this is a trade that i opened uh, about 10 days ago more or less yeah the yeah april 18. Uh, here we have a wolf way pattern okay so what does it mean that we have a fake breakout that which is called by by the most part of the retailers but the truth is that this is not a fake breakout this is a liquidity grabbing okay because this is this trend line is a li dynamic liquidity so it means that here we have liquidity okay and uh, when price reach the asian high of the previous session uh breaks the trend line and re-enter inside the zone okay that's the moment the exact time in which i have 
to looking for this kind of pattern. Okay. And this kind of pattern is here, as you can see. Obviously, you, it's, it's not always the same. I mean, the, the, the bodies of the candles changes, the, 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 the first day it is changing. But what is important to understand that the tails of the second candle must eat the previous body, the previous candle body. Okay, so this is my trigger. Okay, so you have now two choices, wait for a breakout and enter here, okay, or just enter on the breakout, so like this. The stop loss will always be, in this case, uh, uh, two pips above the high and risk reward as your strategy. Obviously, back you have to backtest this kind of concepts, okay? Uh, my my standard TP is 1-3, risk reward 1-3, okay? This is simple, guys, and uh, yeah, it's all you, you need to know, but uh, it seems quite simple, but it is not simple. Okay. There are so many fake signals, uh, uh, that's the reason why I told you that can be, must be used in confluence with other, uh, uh, other setup or uh, uh, on the main trend. For example, uh, this is a fake signal, okay? but you cannot go short here. Why? Because we are inside a bullish trend line. A bullish channel. Uh, look another good signal here. Okay, so same thing. Channel. So down here we have liquidity. Okay. Fake breakout. Price came back. Re-enter into the zone. So now we have to look for uh, our setup and. Edit a pattern, this one. So what does it mean? The tail it's the tail of the second candle completely it's the body of the previous one. So trade of the breakout. Stop loss could be just a few pips below the setup or here. Okay. In this case we have 1.3. I usually move my stop loss to break even as uh, uh, as the trade uh, uh, reach the 1.1. Okay, but in this case, uh, uh, the 90% of the times the stop loss here could be very good. So two pairs below the the low of the setup. Okay, there are so many examples. Uh, this is another example, but you cannot go in short because you don't have any evidence. So this is this is our structure that is not being broken. So you cannot go in short. Okay. Well, this is the best one. Okay. Look um, in this case. Here we have a double bottom. What does it mean? It means that here we have liquidity okay so manipulation liquidity grabbing makes this setup this candlestick pattern and as i told you before we are not we are not uh, uh, um bullish yet okay but if you draw this uh, uh, this trend line price brought the trend line change the structure okay and uh, here we have a double in the tail pattern because we have one candle one tail and the second tail so and this is very very powerful this is very powerful okay 
so when you have when you see double confirmation means that we have a great momentum that we can ride uh, in this case if you don't feel comfortable enough because probably you see this long tail and uh, yeah, you're not sure the train is gonna change you can risk half a size and wait for a retest inside the 50% of the pattern so in this case here okay and as you can see with the pending order here oh all this you can wait for another confirmation for another engulfing so a breakout so here okay and uh, as you can see this trade is going to uh, to go up okay 1.8 probably could be also 2.20 but anyway uh, remember to set your stop loss uh, correctly so <clears throat> could be good here but uh, 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 you can also move uh, uh, of two pips below the high the the lows in this case so here could be good okay and this will be great like a trade okay so remember to use it in confluence remember with your um with your analysis okay if we move let me find uh, some other example that we can to to in which by which you can better understand this kind of pattern okay so okay so look here yes look here uh, liquidity okay when you see a lot of wicks a lot of tails that try to when the price try to push and go and break out the zone but it was not able to and you see these long tails mean that here there are liquidity when you are able to uh, uh, understand the liquidity concept you will be you will be a very good trader very high profitable trader on the long term okay so here is liquidity here we have manipulation okay price breaks the the, the, the this resistance re-enter the zone sorry and makes well probably yeah this is not the right the right uh, uh setup okay because as you can see um the tail is not eating the the previous the previous candles bond anyway this is a pin bar okay with the, an engulfing so it could be could be good as well for uh for for a, a possible entry but uh, for me it's not enough i just want to uh, um to see price moving okay and possibly making some uh, some breaking of the structures okay okay so let's see what's happened yeah and this is our pattern okay quite clear look we have a double confirmation because we have one and we have two okay so two tails the first one and the second one both are eating the previous candles body so here you can go short without any doubt okay uh, with the, the stop loss could be here okay or if you're more conservative just here but in this case the structure is already being broken and uh, this setup is being uh, uh, made uh, in on this uh, on this support that now turned resistance okay so y y you 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 must go go short here okay 
this is the perfect example so the risk reward in this case just three and as you can see price <coughs> uh, uh, reaches my TP and then and then move up okay so guys basically uh, try to backtest this pattern remember to use it in confluence with uh, uh, with a good multi time frame analysis remember to respect the the bias so uh, uh, the main uh, uh, structure okay of the of the price of the market uh, try to uh, to to trade using evidence like in this case okay so when you see uh, a new structure that is going to be created on a short term and uh, this uh, this could be very very good to look for a short because we have a clear uh, a short evidence okay i hope you guys like this video let me know what you think about using the comment section below uh, i remember to join my my disco channel youtube instagram and trading view above all disco group everything is free i share my trading ideas so i just want to grow my community that's the only the only target uh, uh the only reason by which i do everything for free okay thank you very much guys see you in the next video